What's up guys, this is Austin with Campaign Collector and today we're going to show you how to spot a reel from a fake. So today I was out hitting flea markets and yard sales looking for new additions to collection like I normally do every weekend. I came across a hat today that had two FDR buttons on it that were wrapped in plastic. I was a little hesitant on taking it. I'd never seen those buttons before in particularly, and I couldn't really tell if they were legit or not because the way they were wrapped. Well, I took a chance, got home. They're not legit. They're not real. So, to give you guys a heads up in the future of how to tell if a pinback is real or fake, here's a couple tips. So I got both the buttons here. I got one, the reproduction I bought today and a legit one that I have from my collection already. Let's go ahead and start with the reproduction. FDR, you're sitting here thinking 1940s. Man, this is a deal. That looks in really good shape. I can't believe how good it looks that's a good sign right there already uh it might be fake if you're seeing something that's too good to be true a lot of times it is too good to be true however that's only the first sign you're looking for sometimes you can find a pristine pin back in really good shape it's been in storage and nothing's happened to it but that's not usually the case normally these things are beat up they've been used they're at campaign rallies they were getting taken around with candidates so that's always the first thing you want to look at is actually the shape of the button. The second thing you always want to look for is around the edges. Are there any maker marks or union marks? As you can see, there's nothing on this one. That being said, not all the time are you going to find that, but mostly you are going to find that on them. Pretty much on any of the older buttons, you will most always see a union mark or a maker's mark somewhere on the button. A lot of times it'll be right out front and center, or it's going to be along the edge. I have not yet found one with the inside, but that doesn't mean there aren't like that. The third thing you want to look out for is the back of the button. When you look at it, this one right here, someone's painted the inside of it. That's always a telltale. That's a telltale sign right there. They're covering up something, and I don't think I can get it to show on here, but yeah, it's not going to show on this camera. Right here, that has, I can barely see through the paint, RE, reproduction. So let's go ahead and show you now a legit button. This is for Floyd Spence, congressional candidate that was around here a few years ago. Um, back in, I believe, the 80s or 70s. Not exactly sure of the candidate. But let's go ahead and look for the telltale marks. All right. First, it looks really pristine. So you're always, okay, well, strike one against it, right? It's really pristine. Uh, especially for a congressional button, because these things are the ones people tossed out the most. They didn't care. After the campaigns, over these are up every two years. All right, well, let's move on to the second one. Is there a maker mark? And there is right there. There's your union mark. All right, so one again, one for it. All right, slip to the back. That's the kind of back you're looking for right there. You want that silver metallic look. That's what you're looking for mostly. Uh, the older ones, even the newer ones, are going to have that silver metallic back. Now these are can be rusted up, but if it's still this material, that's what you're going to look for. Fake, real. I do hope this has been helpful and hope to see you guys soon. Keep collecting.